So right now we have technology that's increasingly being used to make determinations such as who gets hired, who gets fired. Even if you're thinking about the kinds of job offers you might see online, right? So an algorithm is a process for accomplishing a task. That task might be determining if you are worthy of receiving a loan. So right now you have artificial intelligence systems that are deciding important choices for our lives. And oftentimes we like to think that machines are neutral because they're learning from data and because they're viewed as being objective. But what happens is with algorithmic bias, some of the things we think are supposed to be neutral because a machine is deciding it can actually have bias along racial lines. It can have bias along gender lines, right? So for example, if you or I want to get a loan, it might turn out the algorithm that's making that decision has been trained on data, which then says because you're a woman or because you're black, you won't be able to get that loan. So this is what I mean when I'm thinking about algorithmic bias. Decisions that are being made by machines that might be appear to be neutral, but in reality, because of the data that those machines are learning from, can actually have biased outcomes. Joy, uh, you do raise some valid points here, but uh, I also want to point out that uh, studies are showing that uh, much of sub-Saharan Africa, women do pay back loans. And uh, if this is actually, uh, uh, as a variable, is added to the equation, uh, women uh, are uh, more prone to pay back loans eight out of ten of the times as opposed to men who are looking at three out of ten of the times. So women get more credit based on algorithms here. Uh, who's to say that this is not a double-edged sword, that it could actually work in favor of uh, some uh, ethnici ethnicities or other uh, genders that were uh, uh, ignored before? Well, it really depends on what you're saying in terms of an algorithmic decision that's being made, right? So you might have a process from a loan officer where now in the African context, it favors women. But when we're thinking about artificial intelligence, right, which is on the rise in this age of automation, oftentimes the models that are being used aren't necessarily systems that have been developed in Africa or for the African context. So for my own research, I've actually looked at the area of face recognition technology, where cameras attempt to detect a face, determine the gender of the face or the age of the face. And what I discovered in my research is that systems developed by IBM, Microsoft, and Face++, a leading technology company in China, a billion dollar tech company, when I ran the numbers, the error rates were no more than 1% for white men. When you looked at their error rates for African women, they were as high as 35% for what you're getting wrong. So in a global context where you are getting systems maybe from the US, maybe from China, and then applying it to a different context, it might not necessarily work well. And so we asked, well, why were these error rates so bad? So when I looked at the kind of data that was being used to test and train these systems, it turned out that for many of these data sets, the data was comprised of mainly male faces, around 75% male, and predominantly lighter skin faces, 80% male, right? So I call these pale male data sets. So if this is the understanding of the world that you're getting, and then that becomes part of an international model, you have to ask who's going to be excluded. So going back to the case of the loan, right, it could be in the African context, actually, African women have shown repeatedly, right, to pay back, but you're using a system that was developed elsewhere. So what's really important is that as we're adopting different types of models, we are making sure we're testing to fit our specific context. And so with the case of the facial recognition technology, when I shared this research with IBM, they actually went and improved their training process and improved by tenfold on African 
women. So it's a question of being intentional. And the problem is when we assume these systems are neutral without actually taking time to check, we can end up with the algorithmic bias that then propagates social inequality. So we have to make sure we're paying attention. We have to make sure we're not assuming just because it's AI, it's going to be perfect.